You never know who's going to show up to Crown College, Temple Baptist Church. And when this young man came, we didn't know what a treasure we had and what God had put in his heart. Hard worker, I mean everlastingly at it, mature Christian. Uh, you know, he just gets the job done and never talks about it much, just stays everlastingly at it. Now he's finishing up his work in just a little while here and he has a dream in his heart to go to his home in Togo, West Africa. And God has put things in his heart to do. And we want to help him do that. And I want you to help him do that. So you share your heart with us and may God use you in a special way as you give your testimony here. Okay. I want to thank Pastor and Church for the opportunity they gave to me to share my testimony. My name is Yavi Kponyo, and I'm from Togo, West Africa. Togo is beside Ghana and Benin. There's a little country in West Africa, and it's about 7.6 million of population. The country of Togo is not a Christian country, you can say, but the, the main religion is Vodou. We, they worship Vodou. Over 51 what, worship Vodou. It's idol, stone, it's, that is the main religion. Christianity, uh, are 29% are Christian, but most are not like Baptists. They are Catholic, most are Catholic. So there are few who know the true gospel or uh, who are real Christian. 20% uh, are Muslim. So we can see through that that the country is so dark and there is a great need of uh, gospel. Those who can preach the clear gospel to people to get saved. So I'm from the family who are not Christian. My parents are not Christian. So when I was saved, I'm not, when I get born, I was raised up in, my parents are not Voodoo worshippers, but they don't believe on God. And my dad, especially, they say, there's God, but you don't need to go to church. To him, go to church is like, you are lazy or Western culture. But when I came to six, I started going to Catholic church and my dad stopped me going to that church. Later, one Sunday, I was at my home and some of my friends came and I saw them, they have a lot of candies on their hand. So my question is, where you get the candy from? They told me that they went to a church. There's a new church in our town. They went to that church, and after the service, they give them candy. I said, really? <laughs> and I asked them if I, they would give it to me also if I go to the church. They said, yes. So I could not wait for the following Sunday or the next Sunday. The next Sunday, I went to the church, and I wait, and after the church, that was true. They gave me candy. And I say this is the best church in the world I had to go to. <laughs> so I kept going to the dead church, and one day, and every day, every Sunday when we go to the church, they present to us the plan of salvation, how we have to get to, how we have to know that we are sinners, how we need to be saved. And if you give a right answer to any question, you receive candy. So I pay attention, give right answer, receive a lot of candies. And every time I pray to receive Christ, because I thought one day they will ask me if I get saved, they will give me candy. So I kept doing that, that until one Sunday, the teacher talks to us about hell. And she, she said that the hell is a real place like market we go to, is a real place as our school, everywhere, but the difference between hell and those places is hell is a lake of fire. And she said, whoever get burned by fire by, by finger, so we say we, we get burned by fire. And she asked us, how that feel? Whenever you get burned by fire, we say it hurt. And she asked us, how much more do you think you'll be hurting when your whole body will be under the fire. So when she asked that question, I have shock in my heart. 
And she said, we are sinners, so we deserve to go to that place. And one day, we'll be in fire, under the fire. And she said, not only will we be there, but we'll be there and seek to die, and we could not die, because death also is going to the hell. So when she said that, I, my mind could not handle that, because as a young person, we don't want to die. So I'm thinking, where is the place in my life I'll seek to die, I could not die? And she said, we are going to that place for certain because you are a sinner. But the only way we can escape going to that place is trusting Christ as our personal savior. And I don't know, I cannot tell why I didn't trust Christ, but I left church, I went to the farm for the whole day. God brought that in my mind. I was struggling that I'm facing that hell. And my heart, I say, I don't want to go to hell. Until that night, Sunday night, I came back to my house and I prayed, trust Christ as my personal savior. That was a great night. And I, I see the place and I, I see the joy I have in my heart, the peace I have in my heart. And later, God called me to be a minister. So I came here 2014 to be trained. I'll be finishing this May and going back. I believe God called me to start a church. And he gave me a burden also to have Christian school and to have orphanage. So please pray for Togo. The country of Togo, there are over 40, 43% are under 15 year old. So it's a young country. They are lucky to reach. So pray for me that God may do something in Togo to reach those people who need Christ. Thank you. I want you to stay here with me, please. Now you're going to see this young man around for a little while because he's finishing up this year. He's taken the most rigorous academic studies and excelled. It's one thing, you know, to be able to express all of that in another language. I want you to give just a greeting. What language would you use in Togo? We use French and Ibi. So you speak them both? Yes. So speak them both. Give me something in each one of them. Merci beaucoup. Yes, well, thank you very much, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, I will so, see so you you're, you're growing up speaking French? Yes. Good. Okay. Hey, Jean III says, Car Dieu a tant aimé le monde qu'il a donné son fils unique, afin que quiconque croit en lui ne périsse point, mais qu'il ait la vie éternelle. Jean III, That's 16. Wonderful. Now, in the other language. Johannes Tarton. Now in English. <laughs> English. John, John Trace is too. That's correct. Yeah. So good so far. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Start for me. <laughs> You're doing so well. Yes. And, you know, every day, working at it, working at it, working at it. And this young man hardly lifts up his head when he's at work, just getting the job done. And uh, he's worked his way through school, all that, with his eyes on what God's given him to do. And I'm thrilled that we can have a part in his life and ministry. We want to do that. And we're going to say more and more about that. Some of you need to make a trip to Togo when he gets there and help him. And that can be done. And we want you to think about it, pray about it, remember, Alvi, and let's get it done. Very well. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, Pastor. God bless you.